Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For me, the biggest, biggest problem will be, I'm not able to understand the youth itself, right? It's difficult to understand. In the last tw- uh, six, seven hours, I've seen different shades of everybody, right? I saw one shade where you were just feeling like you've come for a vacation. You, I saw the other shade where you were so bored that you just wanted to sleep. Then I saw the other shade where uh, you were talking too much about Bible and then everything about the word of God. You're giving good revelation, good understanding. Perfect. Immediately in the mass, I'm seeing another shade, you want to sleep. Then fifth shade, during praise and worship, you're all active. Right? And sixth shade, when somebody is like Dennis and Pius is giving testimony, you are just listening to them. The seventh shade is, I'm totally confused about all of you. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I'm confused, to be very honest. Um, when we wanted to have the youth conference also, we were thinking how to address the youth, right? So there was many, many uh, uh, suggestions that came. We cannot have it in a retreat style because they can only listen to uh, 20 minutes, 10 minutes of talks and more than that, the youth will feel tired and then they want to sleep, they can't do anything. There was other thing, this generation youth is so, so different that we can't captivate them. And I was talking to a priest, a priest said, Freddie, your uh, ministry's crossroads will be successful if you can keep the youth free of their phone for at least one hour. This priest is not a normal priest. He's, he's doing a lot of youth programs every day in and day out he does the youth program. So when I listen, right, they keep giving suggestions, they keep giving uh, thoughts about how youths are. And then they started putting in this psychological words and all. These kids are generational, uh, Generation Z, Gen Z, uh, I don't know, uh, Gen Z, Gen X, what, what generation are you guys, Two, 2K, right, 5K, I can't even understand. Look, this one youth is sitting there, he's so tired that he's sitting on the floor. There will be another youth, if we request them, hey, please sit on the floor, they'll feel offended, right? I'm confused. Now I want to understand from you what you really expected to happen in this three and a half days of program. Anybody? Dia, you want to say, in next three and a half days, uh, yeah, just take 30 seconds. Tell what you expected in this next three and a half days of program. What happened? Fun. Okay. And I have some people here who's not even bothered about what they're sharing, they'll sit and talk. So we don't understand the youth at all. That's the problem. Praise the Lord. Then I tell you what is the biggest problem that we have. No matter how much ever you all are saying that I need to have this joy and fun in the presence of the Lord, I, I want some of you to define in which way you, will, you, you are expecting fun in a retreat or in a prayer circle. Okay? Fun. Fun. She, she wants to have fun in a prayer setup. Oh. You tell me in which all way you can have fun in a prayer setup. See, one of it is praise and worship, as we just know. I mean, most of us have a lot of fun in that. So, one is agreeable. Other than that. Uh... <laughs> tell Ra, you be open. Nobody's going to beat you. Okay. So, uh, we, okay, this is something in. I work in an, uh, a movement. I work in a moment. So we have something known as the Marge's Circle. So what happens is, amongst our crew members, we'll all sit in a circle and be talking about like our personal things because uh, so that that bonding is made. But that we did for like two hours, but we're there for three days. So who knows like we all can even group up into a good family and something have fun. Have fun. Okay. Very great. <laughs> Give the mic there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am 32 years old. So if whatever I say, don't think that this guy is old, so he's talking about, I would have passed all of your age and I'm standing here. Praise the Lord. So if I say something, I have experience in my life. Okay? It's not that uh, hey, this fellow is one 32 years. 
சும்மா ஐ டின் வாண்ட் டு லிசன் ஆல் ஆஃப் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் மை அப்பா அம்மா ஆல்ரெடி டெல்ஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவ் கம் இயர் பிகாஸ் த்ரீ டேஸ் யூ வாண்ட் டு ஹவ் அ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஃப்ரீ லைஃப் ரைட் த்ரீ டேஸ் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஃப்ரீ ஐ வாண்ட் டு நோ ஹூஸ் காசிங் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஓகே தென் சி தட்ஸ் வை ஐ செட் ஐ ஐ வாக்ட் ஐ ஸ்போக் ஈவன் நவ் ஐ எம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் யூ ஆல் ஐ எம் ஸ்டில் கன்ஃபியூஸ்ட் ஐ எம் சீரியஸ்லி டெல்லிங் யூ from now for the next 15 minutes or 20 minutes max if you are bored if you are tired i give you all the liberty whoever wants to go out and sit there you can go okay but only those who would want to remain 15 20 minutes here and listen to what i am saying if you wish please stay focused i just want your mind but if you say my name is freddy so freddy no i feel my friends are good than listening to you i better go out you are allowed to go out right now but if you decide not to go out for the next 15 minutes you are going to be attentive to me can i have that commitment with this liberty to you okay i want to make one point very clearly every aspect that you said that you needed in your life stress free freedom fun e- enjoyment joy that is all there in the church in the presence of god but the every way that you are trying to achieve that right i tell you you will only lead that into a disaster in your life i'll repeat it you need joy you need fun you need freedom you need entertainment you need comfort you need good relationship you need good friends around you you need a good 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 godly friends everything is perfect but the medium that we as youngsters are choosing now so that i can be stress free and enjoy i have joy and things away from parents and three and a half days without any stress education that medium i'll tell you write it down today and after 20 years you will still remember me you will end up in destruction in your life the entertainment that we are choosing in the name of god so that i can have a stress free emotionally secured protected environment in the center of my friends who are always coaxing me for good things they are always saying it's okay no problem hey my dad scolded me i feel very bad the other friends says your dad is always like that it's okay forget it man fathers even my dad is there in my house no he is also the same way only my mother doesn't understand me only same in my house also she also doesn't understand me leave man we, you are, you are for me i am for you we both we going to rule we are a pack what is it we are a unit we are a pack will 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 move everything together we will always stick together it will sound very nice today because you are so free you are so f- enjoying the freedom papa mama is not going to keep on knocking the door asking what you are doing what you are take what you taking care of yourself are you eating uh, you n- nobody is going to nag you here you are in your own thing today you want that but listen to me if at all you are willing to get married boy or girl after one 10 15 years when you get a child if the child is behaving the way you are behaving today you will regret everything that you did in your teenage and your adulthood and when your when your son or your daughter does certain things and you come to know that is really bad don't ever take a cane and hit your child stand in front of the mirror take the cane start hitting yourself because it is you who is the reason why your son or your daughter is behaving the way he or she is behaving in in future my dear friends i i have passed through your age i have committed sins left right center i have at times been dishonoring my parents i have i have committed all the sins that because my life sharing it's totally different how many of you were born and brought up in a catholic family how many of you went how many times you would have gone to church from your age 1 to age 15 how many times any number can you count because every sunday you are going no i went zero times to attend a mass from age 1 to age 15 zero times 
zero not even once when did you learn your our father prayer five agustin first second standard dia first second standard anybody else anyone much before like four years old papa mama asking you to open your hand and say our father before food right i learned our father prayer at the age of 16 or 17 right now why i am telling all of these things is guys the world is showing one kind of a spirituality one kind of having freedom one kind of being completely free one kind of life that is so stress free one kind of life that where you feel you're joyful you're jumping you're shouting you're happy you're saying today i'm so stress free i'm so joyful i'm so happiest person in this world the world is showing that thing somehow we as the children of god born in a christian family raised by the parents who are so godly who have shed their blood and sweat to bring us up and give education we are also feeling that is the life we are supposed to have but i want to tell you one thing what world is showing you today is really not freedom your freedom is lying you know where you are just following god which you will get to know in the days to come by our brothers and others as we go through you're following god and then you're leading a life in which you are not even having any kind of stress or any kind of psychological impact any kind of emotions how do you I, i'll tell you uh, as anyone uh, as anyone told you as anyone told you you are uh, beautiful they have told no okay do you feel good when somebody tell that you're beautiful okay but that feeling of you know what i mean no even i i i have been in relationships when i was younger huh? my wife is there so i can tell no problem <laughs> so what i want to tell you, you you we feel good no somebody says you're beautiful and all but that feeling suddenly after couple of days you don't feel but as somebody told you you're useless you are ugly you you are you are good for nothing and what kind of a girl are you even today don't you think that voice is somewhere hitting you and causes some kind of a pain why so you didn't believe when somebody said you're beautiful you did right and you please tell it now the negative is overpowering the positive exactly because negative is overpowering the positive we always want to cover all the thing in our life by putting a polish right whitewash kind of a thing that is what we are trying to do in our life guys as you, as youngsters see you you all need to ponder on what she said is the same story for every one of you for you if somebody says you are so good god is god loves you god has been kind over your life god is compassionate those things will not really stick into your heart for long but you know what will stick somebody say something negative about you know that will stick in your life you know why there is this common enemy called satan i don't want to tell too much about him but he wants you to believe that you are that that negative things what people have told so that what will happen you know he will start giving some kind of a falsified or counterfeit good emotions so that he can keep you comfortable in that place so so that you will not look towards god or you will not look towards the truth i'll be very blunt and ask him question boys when you look a beautiful girl hey right? love man no problem beautiful girl your very word defines with what intention you're looking at that girl correct if a boy looks at a girl and if he says what all what all words that boys say anybody want to be open he, somebody said no a, a sharing come da murudeshwar come here tell me if you looked at a beautiful girl or your friends looked at a beautiful girl how do they address that girl three options such a beautiful girl cute girl or something too much which i don't want to say they use such words what have you heard a lot all of the above which is the most the third option yeah not beautiful no yeah no why i'm saying that my dear sisters you're like my very own sisters only 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 believe a person in your life 
right you should understand and discern pious was telling about discerning no in your young age it is very important to discern what kind of person you are associating with even if it is a friend right a good friend or a good intended friend will never call a boy calling a girl with the third thing that he told no some other thing they won't say you are you're such a beautiful girl man Go, such a cute girl they will use something else because that is what the world is after and you know it is fine and you have friends who is always saying hey it is okay da two three people joining and talking about that wrong things it is fine you know what you should do if you have such friends today cut them off today itself because after 30 years example i'm taking your son will sit next to you and say what these guys are talking you no know? he'll be talking to his friends and you can't do anything to him you getting me praise the lord guys get this thing serious in your life don't think don't think what you're doing here is just 20 25 years teenage i'll enjoy adulthood i'll enjoy and then i'll i'll get married somebody will get love marriage this marriage that marriage and then i'll get into a family everything will be see i'm telling you you will have to pay the price for everything that you're doing wrong in your life today and your son or your daughter will start showing those things to you that is why i'm telling you be serious in your life today sit right with the lord the crossroads it is just not a theme guys you have given an option to stay and then choose what is right and what is wrong you may not know what is right and what is wrong but don't worry the lord will lead right people in your life to show which way you are supposed to take which way you are not supposed to take then listen to that voice which is difficult for you to follow today that is the narrow path difficult to follow follow that path don't go with the masses it's fine i'll ask you one one question praise and worship also right what if today pious and the team who did worship if the beats in the keyboard was not there if guitar was not there if no instrument was not there only with the voices would you guys jump and dance and sing the way you did today be honest possible somebody there is it possible the way you danced the way you were happy the way you were jumping you did chada and then you lifted your leg i would have asked pious to say lift both the leg and all of you fall down you would have laughed also and did but my question is serious listen to me if not for music would you have been been that joyful yes but no okay shall we try i'll call pious i'll call everybody no instrument just in this mic all 10 people i'll call will start singing and shouting you will not be joyful praise the lord guys get serious with your life i don't really believe that a youth can only listen to 40 minutes no if i get a pubg phone a, a phone with a pubg game right if i get a get that thing and i make you sit for next 4 to 5 hours guys who are interested will sit for 4 to 5 hours what is problem for you guys to sit and listen to a sermon in a church given by a priest for maximum 15 minutes what is your problem think i'm just i'm, I'm nobody to tell anything to you i'm just putting it out you want to take it you take I'll just reject and go not that everybody is going to accept and become saints in one day right think now who watches bin bin what is it binge watching uh? what is that binge uh, so some some series you'll continue to watch have anyone here watched that kind of a series binge watch some some series or some some watched how many hours maximum my dear three friends three hours okay anybody else binge watched naomi how many hours eight, eight hours ta varre va murdeshwar how many hours you don't see series only okay you you like you like football which sport you like ah okay which player you like lebron james okay if you get a series about lebron james life 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 history itself right from cleveland Oh, okay, okay. Chumma dialogue you are leaving in front of me. 
you think we all are fools here ah just because we stand on the stage you all guys make fun of us ah no da the truth is you all can watch but what is that you guys can't listen 10 minutes to a preacher or 20 minutes to a priest or or 2 minutes to appa ma think i'm correct no thank you ma so jesus said be like a little child kingdom of heaven is very close to them what ra yeah Hmm. It's there in the church. I'll help you. You should be honest. Tell me the two priest name. I'll find their YouTube video. I'll do two things for you. I have a media team here. The priest who spoke slow will fast forward it. The speed will increase by some po- pointer. Okay? I'll give it to you. The priest who spoke so fast. will reduce the speed and give it to you and i want you to listen to that sermon even if it is one hour will you do it apo what ra hey i am confused about you guys da i am con- see that is what i am saying who any tamilians here kai ee ni tamilian ra ni seriously i can't understand you guys my my problem is that but i love each and every because i'll be very honest let god be my witness as much as i'm looking at each and every one of you i have a godly sorrow for each and every one of you in this place the holy spirit be my witness i have a godly sorrow for each and every one of you i am funny i want to drive a point but at the same time something in me is telling that you all need to experience god's love none of you has experienced god's love in his true sense none of you you're having a one one kind of a fabricated god's love which you feel very comforted you're like my brothers and si- i have a sister she's 27 years old i have my friends i've been with little children also sometime john is john near john John, John, yeah, no problem, John. Sit, sit. I watched John in NFC two months ago. We had a program here for elders, uh, August. At one point, there were sixty, seventy people who had eyes, who had ears, who had legs, who had hands, who were able to listen to us. We are trying to help them to worship the Lord, praise the Lord. None of them were able to get it. But at one junction, I looked at that boy. I had tears in my eyes. he didn't know the lyrics he just know the tune and he started worshiping the lord standing there i felt the spirit of god was on up, upon him whereas we were trying to en- encourage another 50 60 people who were all with good health and good hand and good everything they couldn't recognize that love but that boy was able to recognize what is different in us my dear friends tell me what is different in you and what is different in him what is different in me same god same love same prophecy before you were formed in your mother's womb i knew you jeremiah chapter 15 even before a substance was formed i knew you psalms 139 i have carved your name in my palms i have counted the hair strand everything the same god everything is same same creation but we are telling to say we are a youth we are different we can't do this we can't do that we need prayer meeting to be like this we need preaching to be like this we need my papa mama to tell like this what do you think you want everybody to dance to your tune think i love you who was that movie to 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 some movies there no ah i love you 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 i love each and every one of you but with god's love i'm telling you don't listen to anything this world is telling you about god's love or 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 how to have this freedom uh, in 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 god just because i put a music and a jump and a sing i'll say oh i am liberated today i'll tell you step out after 2 minutes somebody calls and tells you that hey you useless person immediately that joy will go how can god's joy can go out of your life within 2 minutes fabricated no then because he is a true god for what joy did he shed blood on the cross of calvary for you and me but we are not serious praise the lord Hallelujah. 
and that's all i wanted to drive to you all today don't listen to anything this world says about who god is what god is what is love is who jesus is who the holy spirit is and what god's plan is for your life don't believe anybody in this world if you love so much god and somebody said i want to have god's presence no if this book kevin cannot give you the presence of god i tell you nothing can give you presence of god in life kevin no worship song da no concerts no praise and worship leader no preacher like me just shouting and then you'll just forget out nobody can give you this comfort if this book 73 book cannot give you that presence and joy and the freedom and the liberation that wounds to be removed and to make you feel accepted if this book doesn't do no anything else that does is false and i am a testimony like i said i am a testimony my amma was a hindu my appa was a christian but my dad never went to church they got married 1989 september 1990 within 9 months i come out of my mother's womb you can laugh da laugh louder it's an, i expect somebody to laugh nobody laughed thank you praise the lord hallelujah and from then on until 2005 i never went to church i i remember going to church 2006 i walked through the center of the ch uh, uh, church and then i look at the altar my response was who is this guy i'm looking at a cross where i'm looking at what at the age of 15 at the age of 15 sister did you know that the man on the cross is jesus christ did you know that he was sent by god did you know that he died for you and your family and your generations so that you can have eternal life did you know that and you believe that because of his death you are saved i didn't know any of these things so i looked at him and i said this guy in every cross they have put him like this what is he going to do man then i go to all the statues one touch two touch three touch four touch and get back to my life that was my life today i tell you i cannot live even a minute if i don't think about the lord jesus i am my wife i am my sister i am my fr uh, friend leo i am my ministry leaders they have watched my life for 12 years everybody know me i can never and ever do i have a good job i won't tell my salary some of you will become jealous <laughs> praise the lord i have everything that i need today yet there are days when i felt in my room that i am not joyful i don't have joy in my life i my appa ma are happy everybody are happy everything is there i can buy whatever i want i have a place to live i have clothes to wear is my shirt nice my pant somebody gave me god bless you i have everything i can buy anything but i don't have joy you know why somewhere my relationship with this man on the cross was tarnished for some reason i couldn't sleep i was not settled until unless my knees went down in my prayer room at 1 am or 2 am i cried out and said lord i'm sorry if i have offended you anyway i love you more than anything in my life lord come have your way in my life i have the joy because everything else becomes immaterial i tell you my dear sisters if somebody comes and tells you that you are the most beautiful girl i love you with everything is a liar don't believe don't ever run behind relationships the bible says do not kindle love before it should be kindled don't enter there same thing goes for boys also praise the lord your body is the temple of the holy spirit tell me in which religion god himself says i'm going to live within your body nowhere but only our god says 1 corinthians 3:16 and 6:19 he says your body is the temple of my he came to die after dying he resurrected and he said i'm going to live in your body what is your name shay shirley shirley the jesus whom you believe as god no he says that his holy spirit is within your body you're so you're so precious so are you no stress so are you god will heal even your eyesight also you don't have to worry whether you're going to wear glasses or not i believe in jesus name as you finish this 3 and 3 and a 4 days that your 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 eyesight will come to normal because that's the god i believe praise the lord hallelujah so trust that lord and believe that lord Praise the Lord. 
So don't play with your life, guys. Don't play. But hold on to this 73 books. But you will have difficulty. You cannot walk easy life. Because I have struggled. I, I, I went to Porta 2010. And I come back after one week thinking that what a new man I am. And then within seven days, I committed sin. Me. But enemy had an opportunity to give guilt to me. Guilt. How many of you struggle with guilt? I am not good. See, guilt, 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 guilt. That is the weapon of the enemy. That is why you are seeking false area for God's love. God is not the one who causes guilt. Jesus will never say that you are this, you are that, so you, cannot never come, you can never come close to me. No, Jesus says, I know you. I know your weakness. I am waiting for you. Come more closer to me. The Bible says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Come closer to me. I will come closer to you. That is our God. If God wants to give you guilt, no. Why will he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary? What was the need? Think through. Think through. This book can give you that joy. This book. And the God whom this book speaks about is the only God who can give you freedom and liberation. No matter how you are today, you are beautiful in the eyes of the Lord. Hey boys, no need hairstyle, this cut, that cut, mohawk cut, and then side cut, mushroom cut, those days. Doesn't matter. Hey, uh, curly, curly, not yours is. Curly, <laughs> Mudeshwar's curly. Doesn't, all this thing doesn't matter. The Lord loves you the way you are. He formed you in the way you are in your mother's womb. And he said, you are precious in my hands. Each and, one, each and every one of you are precious in his hands. And he will still see you as precious. He will continue to see you as precious. He is continuing to long to have that relationship with you. The day you say, yes, my God, yes, my Father, you will enter into a relationship in your life that nobody can give you, my dear friends. No, no retreat center also can give you. Because I listen to testimony. I went to that retreat center. My life changed. Where is God then? If not for that retreat center, what would have happened to you? God cares for each and every one of you. And he loves each and every one of you. I'll close with a testimony to tell you that how much God loves you. This is very fresh. Last Tuesday, my dad uh, sort of had a, a pain in his chest. Okay? I'm, I'm saying this, you can take it as a story, but there is deep things inside that. He comes back home Tuesday, and then he says, for two hours I've been having this pain. He runs to a small clinic and then they do basic tests and all of those stuffs. And then they say, in your ECG, they do that. Magne any, any, any doctors here? Studying? Gudra. No doctors. <laughs> ECG? ECG. There was a spike in that ECG. They said, go meet a cardiologist immediately. So we, we, we took a cardiologist and then they do some eco test and then the, if there is a heart attack in your blood, no, they will do your blood test. God's grace, that blood test came negative, sign of relief. But in, even in the eco, they will check all the behaviors here in the heart and all. There were some variations. So a little scared. So next day we get him to the doctor whom we consult and then the doctor meets him and then the doctor talks and then he says, no matter what it is, we have to do a angiogram. So what they say uh, in medical term is that um, uh, they will take one kind of a cannula, whatever it is, they will pass through your hand and then they will connect it to your heart and then they will check if there is any block in your heart by ingesting some kind of a dye. So it will tell you if there is any block or not. Learn all of these things, okay, it's good. School only you didn't learn, at least learn from here. Okay. In that process of six hours, Troubled, troubled, troubled. But I want to drive a point here, how loving and caring God is. So all are praying. I ask prayer to my leaders and everybody, elders, everybody are praying. So I was sitting in, in, in the, right outside the CCU. Then I make a prayer to the Lord. Because it's personal, no. Because he said, no, I formed you. So if God formed me in my mother's home, he should know me personally. Correct. 
and he said i hey freddy i have written your name in my palms then you should know my name if he says i know every hair in your head then you should know me personally so if you are so personal god i am making a personal prayer to you lord take care of my dad i want you to handle everything concerning his life they said there can be blocks they said there can be this and that thing but i believe you more than the doctor i want to know that my dad is going to be absolutely fine then all of a sudden this if you are uh, kind of not coincidence or intuition okay sometime it happens jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 this you cannot just get in your mind because all we know is john 316 any other familiar words Augustine, tell one familiar word of God that you know. Huh? Oh, yeah, you are busy talking to her. Where will you listen to me? I said, tell one familiar word of God. Word of God, like John sixteen. Thank you, da. Yeah, yeah. So it was not that familiar. Jeremiah thirty seventeen. I opened the word of God. You know what it said? I will heal you. i will i will clear all your scars declares the lord specific to my prayer petition then i kept quiet then i went into the operation theater and then the doctor called me and then doctor says we analyzed your father we checked he had an heart attack in 1990 but we expected that block to be there in his heart but but even after this problem i tried to see there is some block but in your dad's heart there is no block medically it is impossible and he said i went with an intention that i will find a block but i couldn't find it but how that block is not there i cannot believe it then i thought to myself the god whom i serve is truly a living god you all are serving a god is not just a name jesus he lives even as i'm standing and talking here is angels are ministering i believe not because that i see angels don't think in that way because the bible says so wherever jesus christ is exalted there the holy spirit will move and wherever the holy spirit moves his angelic ministry will come into assistance you are you all are serving a god who is living my dear friends in closing genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning that god in the beginning elohim adonai is the same god yeshua hamashiah is the same god the holy spirit that each and every one of us are serving today you are privileged to be called god's child you are privileged to be called as a christian may god bless you be blessed in his presence